Hey, what's going on, guys? In this video, we're going to learn how to translate uh, some of the sentences or words or whatever using Google Translate API within the Python script. So it's pretty trivial to do this in the browser. But what if you, uh, what if your scraper or whatever program uh, is fed, but that is fed by some some sort of income data, actually needs to translate that sort of a data to whatever language. Well, in this case, uh, Google Translate API would really help. Well, I'm not really sure that it's the right way of using it, and well, but at least it works. So that's the reason I'd like to share this kind of stuff with you. So if you just invoke my developer tools right over here, uh, at the Google Translate, at translate.google.com stuff here, and just type somewhat, uh, well, I'll, I will use a Russian phrase because that's my native language, and then we'll see how it works. Uh, regarding the translation process. So here I just write up a simple phrase. So I, so I say Однажды в холодную зимнюю пору я из лесу вышел был So this is some sort of a classics basically regarding uh, Russian culture. So well now let's have a look how actually this has been translated here. So uh, okay, just hold on a sec. Oh, so probably it's better to do the following. So just uh, take this away and paste the entire phrase because uh, Google Translate is using some sort of a type of head to just dynamically translate what we're uh, writing, uh, what we're inputting into this form. So if I just uh, make it once like this. So here is here is it basically. So uh, here we have the URL that we made a request to. So we just copy this and paste quickly in the new window we'll see okay it, it doesn't even go there it just returns the JSON response for some reason well, let's have a look at this one so this is cool so here is the phrase that I've input there and here is basically the uh, translation that we're interested in so we don't really need that at the moment so uh, what we actually need is actually this kind of string query parameters which we would use which we would make use of just right in the moment and also uh and also this url at the very beginning like the, very, the, the initial part of it so uh let me just okay so well I'll, okay so i'll just grab this url right in a moment so let's create Let's create a new file in the current working directory we're now at. So let's say this would be the translate.py. And I just invoke a terminal here. Okay, so I can simply say Python 3 translate.py. Nothing happens because no code here. So well, let's actually write some. So first we need to import requests library that would be used uh, in order to make outgoing HTTP requests to Google Translate API. And also, well, probably let's let's import JSON because we're supposed to work with a JSON-like uh, format, so we would be able to pretty print it basically. So now let's create the response object that would be equal to requests dot get, and now we specify the URL uh, that we actually need. So here I can simply grab this one. So everything until. Uh, everything here until uh, the query itself so I just simply copy this okay and just paste this in and okay so we actually need to try to extract so it's it's the JSON uh, API so we can uh, directly uh, convert this sort of an output it, it returns a plain string but this dot json uh, method that is uh, that regards the request library itself it simply converts this kind of data to uh, python dictionary object so that's quite pretty handy and finally simply need to say print 
objects in the dumps and the spawns and specify the indentation equals to two spaces of this kind. And now the, the most important part basically. Uh, I'm, I don't really remember if we need actually to specify some sort of the custom hitters. So will, will Google ban us or not? I don't really remember. We'll find out this just right in a moment. But what we definitely have to do is actually to specify this sort of a string query parameters here. So I just simply grab them and here I create the params variable which would be the type of Python dictionary and simply paste all this stuff in. And now simply format this like a dictionary. Okay, so here would be our query basically, yeah, so this is pretty nice. Okay, so maybe just pause the recording so in order to avoid you seeing me what am I actually doing here. Okay, so I okay, can almost done here. Uh, almost done. Okay, so here it is. So now we also need to include our parameters. So the first parameters is the argument name specific to the get method and this and this params would be would already be this kind of Python dictionary so now I hold my breath basically and just try to run this code and to see what happens okay okay so it seems like everything works just pretty nice and we get the right output so this Unicode characters uh, are just printed as is so just doesn't really care much about this so if, if we just simply say did like friend and response then it will return kind of normal response so you see that the russian characters are being just fine over here so now uh basically uh the output that we need is located within the third level of this list so this one list another list another list and they all are the very first element, so the index of zero. So now, in order to get what we actually need, we, we can simply say that uh, response zero, zero, zero. And that's kind of it. So here uh, we have the output of the phrase that we've inputted here within the query. So this is kind of it. Here we get we have like source language, target language, and blah 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 all this stuff. So just copy these parameters from your browser, developer tools, and here we get in our stuff. So probably probably the very last thing to consider is just saying like translate equals you know this stuff and simply print in that translate. This is kind of it. Okay guys, I hope this was inter interesting for you and you learned something out of this tutorial. So until next time, then take care.